Okay. D starts asking us about this percentile idea. A 12-month-old boy weighs 24.7 pounds is at what percentile? And they explain to us what percentile means. Uh, a percentile means that uh, if you're at the 27th percentile, 27% of your values are less than or equal to that number. So I'm going to briefly sketch my distribution uh, for 12-month-old boys. Okay, my mean is right here at 22.5. They're asking me about 24.7. Okay, 24.7 is one standard deviation above. Percentiles are everything that is below this point right here. Okay, what percent lies below that number? Okay, so to figure that out, what I see first is that obviously below my mean, I've got 50%, right? Okay, now between one standard deviation above and below, we have a total of 68%. So because it's symmetric, and you can't really see that I wrote that, but because it's symmetric, that means one standard deviation above has 34% of it. So if we take the 50 that's below the mean and the 34% that's between the mean and one standard deviation above, that's where I get the 84% from, okay? That's the total percent that is below that number. That's what a percentile is, okay? Um, so when you get your ACT scores back in a little bit um, or when you get your plan scores back, and you've got percentile scores on there, what that means, it doesn't mean that you got 95% of it correct or that you got 84% of the test correct, okay? That's not what the percentile means. It's not a percentage. It means if you got, if you scored in the 84th percentile, you scored better than 84% of the people that were taking the test, okay? Yes, you're welcome. Yes, and you don't know what it means, exactly. No. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's why we're learning this stuff. I know it seems a little not the traditional math stuff, but the, it is. this is why it's important. <clears throat> okay, so similarly, if we're asked about a six-month-old boy who weighs 21.25, okay, we're looking at the other distribution now. 17.25 um, is our mean. 21.25 is two standard deviations above our mean. Uh, now, I'm actually gonna kinda work it the other way. Instead of looking at what percentage is below it, if I know what percentage is above it, I can just subtract, correct? So if that's two standard deviations above the mean, I know that this amount right here is 2.5% because we just talked about that one in what part C? If you are two, if you are more than two standard deviations above the mean, you're in that outer 2.5 percent or the upper 2.5 percent. So if we've got 2.5 right there, that leaves us with 97.5 below percentiles. Just a little caveat here: uh, they're always whole numbers, and you always round down. Okay, because if you said you were at the 98 percentile, that would mean you were higher than 98 percent. Well, you're not quite at 98%, so you always round down to the 97th percentile. Okay? It's all about the symmetry, guys. So, let's see.